Our first principle in MRF design is to fractionate material into distinctly sized streams. The next step is to liberate. Liberation removes fluffy, high volume 2D material from rigid 3D material in a commingled middle stream of paper, containers, and residual such as film, plastics, and non-program material. The anti-wrap screen moves out large fibers to create a sorted residential paper and news fraction. The CP screen acts as a polishing screen to remove any remaining paper and film plastics from the container-rich stream. We can experience throughputs as high as 15 tons per hour on our fiber screens. They process large volumes and break up material surges. Even with higher throughputs, these machines are the lowest maintenance screens in the industry with unmatched disk longevity. Another key component to liberation is agitating material with our high amplitude rubber and steel disc screens. The constant pounding movement shakes loose dirt, food, glass shards, and fines, essentially liberating debris that would otherwise be stuck to the commodity. It is an expectation of paper and plastic recyclers to have a clean end product. Otherwise, these bales will be rejected. The liberation process achieves a higher purity standard as it continues down to the next phase of separation. The result of liberation are two distinct and cleaner material streams, paper and containers. The prep commodities can now go to separate processes that ensure the effectiveness and efficiency of downstream machinery.